so this is part two of our video where we are going to implement remove ads using subscriptions right so uh part one is already out you can just go and check it which is this one i'm just showing you how the app works which is the demo then also i've received uh, a comment from jay is saying that i must also include interstitial ads native and open app um ads right so i will try to cover the interstitial ads so basically everything is just the same i'll just properly explain how the removal ads works so then you'll be able to implement it on your side right so before we start um i would like us to look at how to properly configure a testing device because there are some people out there uh, who can't get this right at the moment they are failing to get the testing side right so before you start you will need to have your gmail account your gmail account just copy it then open up your google play console Then once you open up your Google Play console, you need to go to set up license testing, then put your email address there, then you can just press enter, then it should be under license testers, your email address should be there. Then again, you need to go to your app, right, so you can just create a new app if you don't have an app yet if you already have an app go to the app just select the app like that then go to internal testing right go to internal testing then when you get to internal testing make sure you upload your app here right so there are two things that you need to do before you upload your app you need to go to your app under manifest you need to add this permission then go to your critical scripts and then under module then you need to add these dependencies right then you build your app you sign it then you come you create a new release you upload it here then it should be available to testers right then once you are done then go to testers if you don't have a testers list then you can just create one there if you if you already have a list then just check the list right there then save the changes and inside that list make sure we have the same email right this is the same email then once you are done copy this link then send it to yourself right into that email and then accept the, the the testing program right so now the last step is to go to your preferred device go to your mobile application i mean your mobile device then go to play store sign in with the same gmail address right sign in with the same gmail address then that will be um then you'll be done configuring your testing uh device right so then after that then you can be able to to test your in-app purchases all right guys um then th that was it this is how you configure your testing device then since we are done and now we'll go back to the repository. We're going to implement in app purchases, then focusing on subscriptions, right? Then that's when we'll be able to implement um, remove ads, right? So you need to go to this repository, right? So everything that you see here is it's from the official documentation of google play right so as you can see 
this is the first step where we need to uh, implement in our app to add this dependency initialize the billing client connect to google play which in our case is to establish connection right then from there we show the product so everything that you see here it's coming from google play um, official documentation right so uh, the first step right is to add this dependency into your app then open up your Gradle file uh, the module one and then copy and paste these uh, three dependencies you will need these additional two dependencies when it comes to creating your product list right and then now you need to copy this permission into your manifest file right there right so i can just close these two files then now step two is to initialize a billing client right. copy this code and then open up your activity so in my case i'm using the subscriptions activity right then go on create method and then paste that here this is going to initialize the billing client right so it's also going to verify any pending um subscriptions right if for an example the user they they purchase your your your, your subscription then the app it crashes or it closes then that's when then uh the pending purchases will come in here whenever they open the subscription activity then it will then check if there is any pending purchase if there is then it's going to verify that uh, purchase right so now the second step is after initializing the billing client then we need to establish connection right so copy this uh, method then paste it outside on create which is going to be this one here paste it there then this method we are calling it inside on create method right after we initialized our billing client so this method what it's going to do is it's going to connect um, uh, the user for an example if the user they open up your app then they go to your subscription activity then this function is going to connect to google play right it's going to connect to google play once now it's connected to google play then now it's ready your app now is ready to show um show products right so then we call this function as soon as uh, the billing setup is finished and then we show the products into the user then if it fails then we need to establish the connection we recall this function again and again until it connects to google play to query all the products right so now what you need to do is to copy uh, show products right copy that method and paste it here right so what you can see here is um, we are creating a product list using the immutable uh, table list this is when now you need these two uh, dependencies if you don't have these two dependencies then you will have an error here right so inside of this immutable list this is where you need to define your product ids right so you just need to copy this piece of code and paste it here like this then you can just go to set product id and add your product id right here right so this one is a product type of subscription so i don't have this one that's just an example so now i only have two product inside of this product list right so now you take this product list and then you prepare a a, pro, a query product details params which where you need to set the product list which is this one right so then after that you 
call the billing client you query the product details the product details is going this method is going to query all these product details right then it's going to return a product detail list then each product inside of this product detail list it's going to contain the product price and the product name and so on and so on right there's so many things in there you can just go and check what this product details um, has right so now in my case i'm using an adapter right to list all these product into the recycler view a recycler viewer is just a, a dynamical list you can just um list items inside the recycler viewer dynamically regardless of how many product you put here right so you don't have to go and hard code each product button you just need to add your product here then the the recycler viewer is going to list that for you for an example i will just come here you see how many products are here one two three so you just go to the product list you add three um, products id then they will get listed here you don't have to hard code each button right yes so now to get this subscription uh, adapter you need to go to this website right go to this website and then go to in app purchases recycler viewer product details which is the same um, adapter you can just purchase it if you don't know how to implement um, a recycler viewer along with the adapter right you can just um, download this one then import it into your uh, project then you'll be able to use that but if you don't want to use a recycler viewer then what you're gonna need to do is go to the to the product okay if then this is what you need to do right you get the product list this is the product list and then at the given position this is where you're going to get the subscription offer right the subscription offer details and then there inside of these sub details then you'll be able to get the price right you'll be able to get the price this is how you get the price right then now we move on to launch purchase right so as soon as they click this product right go back to this screen yes once they click this product then this is the launch purchase flow we need to launch right into the screen so this is the piece of code that we are going to need right so in this case since i'm using a, a recycler viewer right so i'm using a recycler viewer to launch this purchase flow i'm using an item click right this is the item click this is the item click the item click is going to call this launch purchase flow then it goes to the product details list this product detail list is this one right here right once we get the products then i'm adding all the products into this product list here then after that i pass it into the adapter then the adapter is going to display them on the recycler view then now in this item click once i click that at position zero this is gonna be position zero position one position two if they click this one then it's going to pass a zero here then it's going to open a, a launch purchase flow for this product right for this product which is this one where users they can now click subscribe then it's going to process that right so